Right, we're carrying on with circumference and area of circles. I'm told in question 8, page 77, up to grade C now, I've got to work out the perimeter and the area of that shape. Now that's shape 1, there's also shape 2, and it's exactly the same as that, but you're given a, a radius instead of a diameter. I think this is harder, um, because um, when you work out the area of a circle, remember you're playing with radius and not with diameter, and some kids may forget to divide by 2. But anyway, let's do the perimeter first. Now watch my pen. This is the perimeter of the shape. You walk all the way around the edge, like I'm doing now with this pen, and then you walk across the diameter as well. Now all of that is the perimeter. We can't call it circumference because this is not a circle. It is clearly a semicircle because that is the center. 18 is the diameter, therefore the radius straight away has to be 9 centimeters. Now how do we work out the circumference of a circle? I like to use C equals pi times D because I'm given a D. So equals 3.14 times the diameter of 18. Let's pick up the marks for that little bit. So 3.14 times 18, we've got 56.52 centimetres. Please note that is an entire circumference all the way around here as well. Now, this is only a semicircle. So next step, divide by 2. Um, so I want to call it semicircular arc. Now this is a great big arc, isn't it? It's only a bit of a circumference, but it's half a bit of a circumference. So I can call it a semicircular arc. That's going to be 56.52, the whole circumference, and divide it by 2. So let's just get a mark for dividing by 2. And that's 28.26, and we're still in centimetres. So the full perimeter is going to be this semicircular arc which we know to be 28.26 then we walk across the diameter as well and go back to the beginning so you've got to add on that 18 centimeter part of the journey so plus 18 all together now we have 46.26 centimeters and that friend is the perimeter of that shape now area dead easy um, you know the area of a circle let's quote the formula a equals pi times radius squared which equals 3.14 times 9, remember, 9 squared, not 18 squared. Let's get some marks. 3.14 times 9 times 9, bam. We have got 254.34 centimeter squares worth of area for the whole circle. So final bit, therefore, area of semicircle and you have to do this in an exam to show that the area you've just calculated is not the final answer so state, in, state it in black and white area of semicircle is going to be this 3, 4 isn't it? not 2, 4 yeah 3, 4 make it look like 3 and then halve it only half a circle so divide by 2 boing 127.17 centimeter square area all right you study that I'm done with that <clears throat> turning over the page for each of these shapes I'll probably do them both calculate the perimeter and the area so I've got four calculations to do so right let's make a start this is question 10 one of these ones you have to think about well what's the perimeter well it's going to be that little part of the arc which is clearly a quarter of the circle because that is a 90 degree angle so we want to work out a quarter of the circumference add on the 4.2 radius and the 4.2 radius and we've gone back home so let's get a mark for the full circumference c equals uh, 2 pi r I'm using that because the radius is 4.2 so 2 times 3.14 times 4.2 remember this is the circumference for the entire circle so 2 times 3.14 times 4.2 and that gives us 26, I'm not going to change anything or round it off yet, 26.376 metres, because that's given to us in metres, therefore um, length of arc, and if you want to show the example what an arc is, you mean that bit, that's an arc, so it's going to be a quarter of the whole circle, so we go 26.376 divided by 4, and let's get another mark shall we, and we've got 
6.594 a little bit bigger uh, meters and that is the length of the arc now what about the full perimeter well we can take a bit of the arc well all that part, all that part which is the arc plus these two radii and that's it so 6.594 plus 4.2 plus another 4.2 and all together so plus 4.2 plus another 4.2 that's going to give us 14 0.994 meters let's just call that approximately I don't know 14.99 justify 2 dp I reckon just about so that's what I'm going to go with <clears throat> right there's your answer 14.99 meters if you're going to walk around the edge now in terms of its area it's clearly a quarter of a circle so let's just put uh, the formula here a equals pi times radius squared put it in 3.14 times 4.2 squared let's get an answer straight away 3.14 times 4.2 times 4.2 listen to how I do it then you won't make a mistake so 55.3896 now that's for the entire circle so therefore area of um, I could call it shape A couldn't I or shape one no area of quarter of circle why not equals 55 Point three eight nine six. Divide that by four, and I will round it off to two dp's. It's getting a bit silly. Yep, thirteen point eight four seven four. I'm going to call that thirteen point eight five, and we're in metre square because we're talking areas, aren't we? Now, if I look at the other shape to my right here, I've got shape B. I've got to work out um, the area and perimeter of this shape. I have got three quarters of a circle. So I'm going to go through this again, but playing with three quarters instead of a quarter. So let's go through the whole rig and roll again. Let's just change to yellow because it will shout better. Right, circumference of the whole circle. C equals 2 pi r because the radius is 7. We're going to go a little bit quicker now. Times 3.14 times 7. That will get us a mark. So 2 times 3.14 times 7. And we have the whole circle having a circumference of... 43.96 centimeters. Only want that that part, this arc, which is three quarters of the entire circle, three quarters of the entire circumference. So here I go. I want three quarters of 43.96. Let's just do that. So times three divided by four equals. That gives me. 32.97 but that's not the whole story I must add on my two sevens now I'm allowed to call it perimeter so perimeter is going to be this three-quarter arc plus the two sevens and that's my final answer so plus seven plus seven so I'm adding on to the previous answer <clears throat> I have got 46.97 centimeters all the way around here and back again so that's that bit better go to black now it's getting a bit light down here right area well quote the formula pi r squared shoving the numbers 3.14 radius is still 7 but now we're squared let's do it quickly uh, 3.14 well 7 7s are 49 and put 7 7s seven in straight away so 153.86 and that's centimeter square now um, area of three quarters circle well it's going to be three quarters of the area of the whole circle so three quarters times 153.86 so I've still got my answer in my calculator I'm going to multiply by three then divide by four in one step and just give you an answer there it is 115.395 I'm going to round it off to 2dp 115.40 you study how I did that uh, again the 5 will push 9 up to the next figure which is a 10 and I just carry the, the 1 over so 15.40 and we're talking about centimetre squares of area ok so I'm just going to sign off now and then look at the assess in about 5 seconds and I'll be with you